If you've ever been stood up on a date, the first thought you probably have is, who's going to pay for the eight pregame shots that I just took? Whoa. <laughs> Dang. That's, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. Do you have thoughts after that? <laughs> that's, that's the game game right there. That's the final <laughs> thought. Maybe your second thought is, do you think they saw me making out with my hand to get myself warmed up? Oh, okay. oh you warm up like that? I guess you could blame the pre-shots. Yeah. <laughs> there but you go. Maybe the reason you were left hanging doesn't have anything to do with you at all. Because one of our listeners admits he purposely has been standing people up at the bar for months now. Oh. And he's not purposely. trying to hurt their feelings or anything okay. like that. He does it for a different reason while reaping all of the benefits wow. for himself. Whoa. You're going to hear it in a brand new mass speaker coming up at 710. You don't know me. Confession I can't take back. I am. The masked. Speaker. Famous author Mark Twain once said, oh. Two people can keep a secret if one of them's dead. <laughs> what the heck? So let's, <laughs> Ain't that true? Dang. Let's keep that in mind when the people on the phone share their secrets with us. If you really want to keep it, you know what you got to do okay. for the masked that, speaker. That, oh. no. huh? <laughs> Two of our <laughs> listeners want to share, so we got to move pretty quickly here. We're going to start with Sean. Sean, welcome to the show. Hey, how's it going? Well, welcome Yo. to the dark start of uh, Mass Speaker. Seriously. We're willing to do whatever <laughs> yeah. it takes to keep your I'm secrets not. safe, Sean. <laughs> yeah. At least I am. Voice changes on. You're the Mass Speaker. Whenever you're ready, let's hear your confession. Thanks. Yeah, so I own a bar. Okay. Oh, living the dream. Nice. I can't believe nice. you know what a morning radio show is then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I absolutely, oh, I listen to you guys all the time, but oh, I love my bar. It is my pride and joy. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. That's good. Good yeah. Running a business is tough, too. It is tough. And ever since the pandemic, it's just gotten tougher. Um, yeah. The business is not exactly what it used to be. Uh, which is disappointing when you see alcohol sales right now, right? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah everyone's just drinking at home. Yeah. Uh, it was like a lot of people are drinking at home. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I, I started doing something to get people in the door. Good for and, you. Uh, it's, it's not going to be uh, everybody's favorite story. It, oh. Uh-oh. Does it involve yeah. handcuffs? I mean, like, it would be my forcing them to stay there? Uh, no, it doesn't, it doesn't go that far. No. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll actually go on Tinder and um, I'll try and match with any cute girl I <gasps> pop in. And Rick, why is that, yeah, why is that bad? Because I know what he's going to do. Like You're going to send him to your bar. You're right. I'm actually sending them pictures of like really young Good looking guy. Oh, uh, oh you're catfishing him. Well, he's got, well, he can't show up on the date. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, and you're right. I, I, I do end up setting up the date at my bar. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh. It's diabolical, but also genius. <laughs> the whole thing is, is, you know, they end up showing up. They end up drinking at the bar. And, you know, maybe maybe 20 minutes later, I'll, I'll go up to them and I'll be like, oh, your, your date didn't show up and I feel really bad. Let me buy you a drink. Uh-huh. Oh, my uh, God. It makes them feel so good. They end up bringing all their friends yep. in. And I, I got to be honest, business has never been better. At least you give them a free drink. And now you have better. a bar full of attractive <laughs> exactly. people. And, and they're all having a good time. They're, they're really enjoying themselves in the end. When so, you know, their friends show up and, yeah. and they're drinking. I'm yeah. confused, though. They're supposed to be Where on a confused? date. Why would they invite their friends if they're waiting for no, somebody? No, to later. Because, because he goes up. Once they realize up. that they're alone, they're like, well, screw this. I'm just going to have a fun night with my friends. Oh, so yeah. you stand or, them up and then they move on. Or okay. they like the bar so much because he gives them a free drink that next time they go out, they pick his spot. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. smart. Is this why no one showed up to my birthday party? Was that just a bar guy trying to get me to go over to his bar? Oh, oh you think you got no. catfished? Yeah. Oh. That what happened to me. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's Jeff. it, Jeff. Sean, that's definitely it. You're evil, but I kind of like it. <laughs> uh, again, it breaks my heart that I have to, you know, take to these tactics. But oh, yeah. Have you ever seen anybody start crying when they realize oh. they've been stood up? I, I never think it's gotten that serious. Okay, that's good. They probably, <laughs> they'll at least have a few drinks. They probably go to the bathroom and cry. Let's okay. be real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's one confession. We've got time for one Smart. more. Let's get Vicky on the phone here. Vicky, welcome to the show. Hi. Voice changer <laughs> is on. You are now the mass speaker. Hopefully your confession is a little more wholesome than the one that we just heard from <laughs> Sean. What have you got for us? I don't know. 
I always go to this bar. Uh, no one ever shows up. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I live with my boyfriend. Um, that's not the secret, but he oh. is. And he doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the closet. <laughs> um, my boyfriend is passionate about his pet fish. Okay. Uh, okay. He has a beta fish named Mojito. I knew it was a special <laughs> fish. Oh, that's uh, a cute name. Yeah, my buddy had a beta fish, and they, I mean, they. What is so long. special about them? They don't well, do anything. They're colorful. They're from a different country. <laughs> they have a different diet. They can't, can't even just... like hang out with other fish. No, yeah. I know. They'll, like, kill they'll each, eat other. each other for real. Okay. That's why they're cool. He's really proud of his pet beta fish, though. Yeah, I'll, I don't know. All I know is he, like, yeah, he's very proud of being a fish owner. I think it's pretty cute. And he always says that Mojito is really lucky to have him. Mm. He's such a good owner. They're mm. two of a kind. Wow. Um, this fish is a rescue. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, speaking of rescue, I have come home a few times and have found Mojito floating. Oh, no. Like, face up on the top of his aquarium. Oh. Oh, Wait, no. How have you found that a couple times? Yes. <laughs> That's like a one-time uh, thing. <laughs> well, <laughs> because I, obviously I've told you how much my boyfriend loves him. I, when I found him like that, I go to Petco with a picture on my phone of Mojito. And I replace him. I get the staff to help me replace oh. him right away. You, you swap are out the fish? My parents weren't even willing enough to do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> they just told me it was dead. And why are more expensive than goldfish. Why would you replace it? Why wouldn't you just be like, oh, I guess you're not as good of a fish owner as you thought? Wow, oh, just because of that, oh. Jeff, I know how bad that hurt you. Know? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know, we don't even brutal. own a fish. And I, <laughs> so sad. Ouch. I don't have the heart to tell him, obviously. Oh, yeah. You're just going to let him kill dozens and dozens of fish. Well, we're actually at mojito number seven right oh. now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Does he ever notice, like, a slight difference like since he's so obsessed? You know, he hasn't noticed a slight difference, but he has said to me how it's amazing that Mojito's life expectancy has doubled because he's such a great owner. Oh, wow. <laughs> In my head, he's like, these things aren't supposed to live long at all. This has been 10 years going on. <laughs> I just pictured you two in a nursing home together. Yeah. And he still thinks yeah. that that's the original Mojito. Yeah. With Mojito. <laughs> it's going to outlive everybody. This is, this is the new in the Finding Nemo series, Finding Mojito. Yeah. <laughs> It's a much sadder movie. Yeah. <laughs> I'd still watch it. Text in 78592 if you have a confession you've been holding on to. We'll hide your identity, mask your voice, and make you wow. the next mass speaker. Your phone tap's coming up next.